they also we also we also have this wrong receipt wrong receipt <laughs> oh my gosh yes yeah i am it's as told by Atanash here thank you so much for watching today I'm going to be doing a dorm room haul so you know oh I got like all this stuff at different times I'm just happy that I kept my receipts because I'm like okay I'm gonna do this haul I'm going to keep all my receipts this time because I know I usually just throw my receipts away black and gold I mostly got like black and gold things okay except for this like first item it's not black and gold but I just picked up this little basket I'm gonna use this as a shower caddy just to put my shower shoes and my soap and you know all the stuff that I need to take a shower with and this was a dollar I got it at Dollar Tree so yeah things I got were from Family Dollar I got these lights I got two of them the Christmas so it kind of went on sale like after Christmas, you know, the after Christmas sales. So I think in, instead of getting them for $5, I think I got them for like $1.50 each. Also got a sheet set, just black sheets because the sheet set was $10.50 or was it $9.50? I think it was 1050 okay. the next place I went to was TJ Maxx I wanted just a plain gold rug but I could not find one anywhere I searched everywhere I did not want to go online because I didn't feel like waiting and you know what I mean so I just picked this one up I feel like it still goes this rug was $9.99 I also got this garbage can went to another store first and I got a garbage can but it was black I really really wanted a gold garbage can but I couldn't find it at that store ended up buying like a black garbage can and I was just gonna um decorate it with like little gold polka dots or something but when I went to CJ Maxx yesterday I found this pretty gold garbage can it was $7.99 you know I'm just gonna say $8 because it's actually eight dollars they always just put 7.99 to make it seem cheaper so this garbage can was eight dollars the next place i went to was burlington coat factory i got this five sweater bag thing like for my closet because it was only six dollars so got this gold letter a for my name atanaj <laughs> um I think this was I'm trying to think because I actually got this when I was going to decorate my own room but I know they still had them there because when I went yesterday they were still there but I think this was around like $3.99 look at me this was like $4 this a so yeah got these black and gold pillows they were $17.99 for both of them and I think that's pretty cheap because I saw like pillows for $20 that looks like this and it was just came with one so I feel like this is good because there's two I also got this black and gold pillow and it says hello gorgeous I thought this was so cute this pillow was $10 the last item I got from Burlington was this plush blanket because I know it's gonna get really cold five hours upstate for me it's gonna be like really cold in the winter time so I got this black plush blanket it was nine dollars I got a pop-up hamper for my dirty laundry and that came up to be to be four dollars and eighty eight cents 
I also got my mattress pad. So that was $15.67. My mom actually bought these for me because I didn't feel like spending $13 on two pill on one pillow each and I needed two. So she got them for me. I know I'm like I'm cheap. Listen, I'm a broke college student, so I'm not trying to like break my pockets. I just got this laundry bag. It was like 97 cents, so I was like, why not just get it? I got this pretty gold desk lamp. It says that it lasts, so I save money on light bulbs just in case if it blows out. It was. 87 so six dollars i searched everywhere for this lamp like i'm like i need a gold one i need a gold one they always have like silver stuff they never have gold and i'm just like searching everywhere i'm like i'm gonna find a gold lamp if it's the last thing i do i'm at walmart at like two o'clock in the morning i'm like searching high and low for a gold lamp and this was the last one hate usually getting the last one of things because i'm weird and i love to pick from the back but I was like, you know what? This is fate. This is my baby. <laughs> and the thing I got was a black comforter, but that's in the car. And the way this, my recording is set up, if I get up, my background, like my backdrop will fall on me. So I can't get up and like run to the car and go get it. If y'all could see this setup, y'all would just like, y'all would just be like, really? But I did buy a black comforter that came up to be $15.96. It's just, this is going to be kind of hard for me to like lift up. I'm really pulling things out of it and I forgot to show you like the most important thing. I'm trying to make it up. <laughs> this thing is like heavy even when there's like nothing in there, but I got this you can barely see it I got this I don't know can you see it I got this huge tote came up to $20.76 so basically $21 I went to job lots I don't know if you guys have a job in your states and stuff and overseas because I see that people actually watch me from, like that aren't in the United States they had something a quarter of this size that was $13 and I was gonna buy two a quarter of it not even half this size it was a quarter of this size I'm like $13 like I thought it was five that the sign said five dollars but for some reason it didn't ring up five dollars and they said that that was for some other tote that wasn't even there that's cool you know I understand retail I work in retail I know how things can get so I just I'm like you can have these back because I know for a fact that I can find these at a different place for way cheaper we actually had them cheaper at my job job lots is very like it's more discounted than Burlington like you can get so much stuff there for very very cheap so I just assumed that those were gonna be cheap too but no they weren't and they weren't big at all so I'm like no I'm not doing it but yeah all together all this stuff came up to less than $200 so I kind of think that's really affordable because I've been watching people's dorm room hauls and theirs were like way more expensive than mine was I really want to show you guys like what all came out so I don't know if I'm exactly going to do it on moving day because it's going to be a lot. Like, I live on the freaking third floor and there's no elevators. So, I know by the time that I'm done setting up, I'm just probably going to want to freaking take a nap. I'm definitely going to take pictures once I'm done, like, setting up. And, like, put it on Instagram and then you guys can see how it turned out. I just I feel like most of the things that I got were really affordable like I don't know I know my mom spent $13 on them pillows but if I was gonna get the $2 pillows she was like yeah, you need to be comfortable you need to stop being cheap I'm like 
I had to save up all this money from my little minimum wage job for like a month just to get all this stuff like I am broke I'm broke I'm broke and I gotta pay for my textbooks out of pocket that's that's just that's just another story that is another story for a different day that we're not even gonna discuss that concludes this storm room haul thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one